Building for today has its challenges, but what happens when we start building for tomorrow? What are homes like in 2030? A decade ago, the hottest smartphone on the market was the iPhone 3GS, a phone with a 3.5-inch display and a far cry from the 6.5-inch screen available on the iPhone 13 today. Speakers have gotten bigger too, now coming packed with integrated circuits allowing us to do our shopping from our living rooms just by talking. So in this video, we're going to tell you about the technology in 2030 and what happened to Earth. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure to stick till the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Tech Giants Google announced its initial public offering IPO in 2004. Today, it has morphed into a $600 billion umbrella company called Alphabet with reach into a variety of sectors including transport and life sciences. Human Genome the first quality assessment of the human genome published in 2003 cost over $2.7 billion. Today, a whole exome sequence can be generated for less than $1,000. Increasingly powerful and mutually reinforcing digital technologies have combined to forge a self-accelerating technology system that will have a substantially greater impact over the coming decade than it had throughout the last decade. A big thing that hopefully will have happened by 2030 is a huge overhauling of power supplies across the planet from fossil fuels to green energy and if you're thinking isn't that something Elon Musk is doing? Yes, yes it is. Musk and his company Tesla have done a great job of making electric cars desirable and marketable to a mass market but that just scratches the surface of what this and other of his companies have in store. Of their more ambitious projects of late has been the Tesla solar roof which will replace the current shingles on your roof with hundreds of small solar panels that mimic the look of a traditional shingled roof. With the Tesla solar roof, there's no need to sacrifice style for sustainability. Expect more invasions like this from Tesla over the next decade. Tesla has been innovating like this since the early 2000s, but only in recent years have they seen not just a boom in success, but people willing to try them out. Furthermore, Elon Musk is making gigafactories to go and make even more of the cars so that they can fit the demand that is growing. So what does this have to do with converting to green energy, you ask? Simple, it has everything to do with it because one of the biggest polluters in the world today isn't the factories that make things or the homes we live in, it's the vehicles we drive. There are approximately 1.4 billion cars in the world right now, and while it's fair to say that not all of them are driven every single day, every time we drive them, we put a significant amount of pollutants in the air, switching to electric cars eliminates that part of the fossil fuel problem. It'll take a while to convert everyone, but in 9 years' time, that's a lot of potential electric cars out on the road. GM has also gotten on board with electric movement, promising to have 20 new electric vehicles added to their lineup by 2023. With other major manufacturers following suit, the trend towards EVs should really have gained a whole lot of steam by 2030. Furthermore, many nations of the world striving to meet the demands of the Paris Climate Accords are aiming to eliminate as many fossil fuels from their daily lives by 2030 and beyond. So by 2030, we might severely drop the fossil fuel usage that we have, which would be a big step indeed. Speaking of new technologies, many people are, of course, wondering about the entertainment features that we are likely to go and have when the next decade comes because right now, we have TVs that go and display pictures in 4K. And it's a beautiful thing, but where can we go from there? The question here is one of immersion, and many companies are already working on that via VR headsets to truly let you feel like you're taking part in something. Some entertainment companies have been pushing VR since the 70s and 80s, but only recently have VR headsets progressed from corny and nauseating to being a truly immersive and engaging experience. By 2030, VR will be commonplace and it'll be stunning. Additionally, augmented reality or AR will likely be integrated in the preponderance of our vehicles and smart devices within the next decade. Green energy conversion will soon become massively important in terms of powering the ever-growing and increasingly power-hungry cities in which we live. How so? Well, if you take a look around the world, especially in places like China, Hong Kong, the United Arab Emirates, and other growing economies, construction is going on at a massive rate, mainly because many of these nations are looking to revolutionize their cities to be both more modern as well as appearing futuristic in their own way. 
great example of this can be very easily found in the UAE because the UAE has been overhauling Dubai for years in order to convert it from just a popular Middle East city and the home of certain religious attractions to being a place of pure tourism and changing the perception of the UAE as a whole. If you don't believe us, take a look at how Dubai looked even just a decade or so ago and how it looks now. They are constantly and consistently going and building themselves new buildings to sell space in, new attractions for people to go and see, and even building man-made islands in order to fit more of their attractions in there. China is doing this on a different scale as they are trying to modernize their cities so that they can fit their rapidly growing population. In recent years, they have even made a giant bridge to Hong Kong to help expedite the delivery of goods and help people across the body of water that separates them much faster. What else is there to look forward to in 2030? Well, let's talk about the potential of medicines. Right now, as the pandemic continues to rage on, a lot of eyes are on medicines to try and help us contain and resist the virus that has taken the lives of many. The problem is that medicine is a science, but not an exact one in terms of when we'll figure things out. The pandemic vaccine, for example, in normal time, wouldn't have come out for years, but concentrated efforts ensured that it was produced and ready for public consumption in record time. Having sequenced the human genome, new vaccines that take advantage of messenger ribonucleic acid are now possible. It also makes you think about what other medical breakthroughs can happen over the next decade by utilizing the human genome, but that also brings the issue of mRNA vaccines fully into the limelight. While the general scientific consensus is that mRNA vaccines are effective and safe, large public outcry over this new form of vaccine makes its future a bit speculative at best. Let us know what you think about the future of mRNA vaccines in the comments below. One thing that could feasible happen by 2030 is the first manned mission to Mars. We say this because as of right now, both NASA and SpaceX are working on making this happen right now. In fact, they're already doing massive tests to see just how viable some of their crafts are in terms of their ability to get to Mars. SpaceX especially has gone and made great strides in the Mars mission because they were the ones who have tried to make it happen for almost two decades now. SpaceX was built by Elon Musk to go and invigorate the space race once again, and they succeeded in doing that. According to Elon Musk, the goal is to have a craft ready to send to Mars in the next few years. Colonizing Mars in full won't happen until much later, but as far as 2030, by that time, we could find ourselves celebrating not just getting to Mars, but going there multiple times. Because the goal is not a one-off trip, scientists and engineers want to ensure that they can reach Red Planet within a fair span of time to start the colonizing process and potentially be able to make return trips. Elon Musk himself has noted many times on Twitter that he wants a fully colonized home on Mars by 2050, and if SpaceX really does get us to Mars by 2030, that dream will be very much intact. But that's a little far from home, wouldn't you say? Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This is all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video.